Uh, what do you love the most about football and why are you so passionate about it? I love the passion, uh, the friendship, quality of football, mostly, most of all the good times with friends who share my own passion. I've been going to football since I was roughly about 18 years old. The, um, one of the things that uh, puts me so passionate about it is I managed to um, get two season tickets with uh, one for me and one for my eldest son, Michael. And we've been going and sitting in the same seat since uh, he was 18. He's now 34. Um, and we've uh, met some good friends and uh, most of all had some good times. Uh, and uh, why Chelsea and like no other team like Arsenal or United? Oh, don't swear at me, Harry. I have followed Chelsea since I first saw them on a telly in the 1970 FA Cup final against Leeds. And if you know anything about football, you'll remember that was one hell of a game. I was 11 years old at the time. When I was uh, around 18, after having um, had some money in my pocket, I decided to go and travel to watch them. And my first game was at West Ham at home. Ever since then, I've been hooked on Chelsea Football Club. Again, the passion, the friendship, the quality of football. And Chelsea are my team because once you follow a team, you never change your allegiance. And travelling to London to the games added that little bit of extra fun. You have blue blood, no always blue blood. Talk me through a little bit about the day and uh, what happened that day. Harry and I travelled up in the car to meet up with Michael, my eldest son, and a few boys. Um, we met up uh, early in the morning with the rest of my family, my daughter, uh, two daughters and a grandchild. We had some breakfast and then we um, went into Reading to meet everybody else. Go on, bye. <laughs> How's the trip so far? Magic. Always. He's, 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 he's we travelled up by the train, stopping at a few pubs when we got to Wembley. Come in. What's that? It's called the Sussex Arm. Sussex Arms. The crowd was singing until, until we got to Wembley. The crowd was singing and the boys were having a good laugh. After the game, we stopped off for something to eat at our usual Chinese restaurant. We go to Wembley to allow the crowd to die down before we headed home. Playing Southampton, what do you think about the match? Uh, the game was of a poor standard, to say it lightly, with both teams not playing very well. But luckily for us, Chelsea had a bit more quality in the final third of the pitch and scored two goals to win the game. It's quite a professional way of saying that. Don't yes. think you said that on the actual match. No, today. I didn't, no. Again, the result matters, the performance was rubbish. Same old Chelsea at the moment. But we were still good enough to beat a poor Southampton side, even though they had their chances. Should have scored. Actually, a fair result would have been two all extra time, but hey ho. We're through to the final. Uh, what was the best bit about the day? Uh, best bit of the day was meeting up with everyone, having a few laughs, singing a few songs, and of course, Chelsea. Did. I was on the bus when they composed that song. Did they? Yeah. 1990. I don't know, my memory's getting bad. Yeah. <laughs> this bit is uh, not a question I've written down, but uh, what was your sort of take on me getting lost on the train? Um, I think, as you see by the uh, little clip that you videoed, um, I wasn't too impressed.
I lost you, you silly twat, and now I found you again. <laughs> Yeah. At a time of my life. Next time, <laughs> stick with me. Do not lose me. I'm big enough and ugly enough was... not to lose. <laughs> do not do it again. Um, after losing you, um, then trying to find you again in the middle of a, about 5,000 people trying to get onto the tube train. Tube train, it wasn't very funny. Um, I know you actually told someone that you were going to the toilet, but unfortunately the person you told was 17 years of age and he has got about two brain cells in his whole body. So of course he never told anybody else that you were going to the toilet. To be fair, this is the guy that decided to bleach pillows to try and get rid of alcohol in the six things. So yes. that's a fair point. Yes. Uh, lastly, have you got any stories to tell of your travels? I have many stories to tell about Chelsea, away trips abroad, etc. But I suppose the one thing that will stick in my mind is the first FA Cup final that I went to in 1994 against Manchester United with my oldest son, Michael. He was 10 at the time. Um, we had seats 20 rows from the front. And normally, the cup for, on the Cup final, it's normally quite a nice sunny day. Unfortunately, it rained constantly for the whole day. Um, we got soaking wet. Uh, Michael had his face painted in blue with Chelsea written all over it. By the time the day had finished, he just looked a right big mess. Uh, we got beat 4-0. Um, Michael was quite upset. He was crying um, and he wanted to leave before the end. I said, no, let's, um, let's go and watch the teams pick up their medals because it's taken us 24 years to get to the FA Cup final. And who knows, we may take another 24 years before we get to the next one. Little, do I, little did I know that back in about another six or seven years later, obviously with the money going to the game, Chelsea become one of the biggest players in the Premier League. Nice. Thank you for uh, doing the interview. We were waiting for like five Thank minutes. You. Us. Thank you. Thank you.